Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Everyday October, day four, um, and Merry Christmas, because it's October, so the beauty world is in full Christmas swing. Today we're going to be talking about new makeup releases, most of this is going to be holiday collections, there's a couple of bits that I did want to mention that I have got my eye on. I'm going to be honest, despite being on a spending ban, there's not a whole lot of stuff that has really grabbed my attention in the past couple of months. There's a couple of sets that I've thought, oh, they're good value, but I'm not going to buy them for myself. Um, so we're going to head straight into it. Um, I've gone back to September the 1st. Um, I'm not going back any further. There probably was some holiday releases sneak peeked before then, but we're just going to sit and talk about like the full collections. So, first off, the first one I get to on Makeup On Your Radar is Laura Mercier. They are releasing a pretty big holiday collection, actually. They normally only do a couple of bits. Um, but this year, we've got the Winter Wonderment Eyeshadow Palette, nine warm and cool shades in matte satin and shimmer finishes. It's basically neutral with a pop of blue. Um, we've got a little brush set, um, travel friendly brushes with a new exclusive brush design. Dreamy Embrace Petal Soft Lipstick Crayon Duo. Two full size um, Petal Soft lipsticks in there. The Decadent Dreams Souffle Hand Cream Trio. That's three travel size hand creams in best selling fragrances. So Ombre Vanille, Neroli de Sud, plus one beloved scent back for a limited time fresh fig. Um, we've got a full size blush colour infusion and travel size caviar stick eyeshadow set, a translucent setting powder and a pure canvas hydrating primer duo, the ambre vanille jumbo size of the body cream which comes out every year, this year it's $99. Um, to be fair ombre vanille smells incredible but $99 is a no. Um, the Evening Brilliance Eye and Cheek Set, Full Size Caviar Stick and a Mini Blush. And then the Cozy Retreat Ombre Vanille Collection, Travel Size Trio of Serum Body Cream, Aromatic Bath and Body Oil and the Path Form. Um, nothing that particularly pulls me in. Um, it all looks nice. Um, the Petal Lip Crayons look like to be really pretty shades. I like the fact they've done a blush set with a caveat, mini caviar stick and then a caviar set with a mini blush. I think that's a nice idea. And I think actually the one I'd probably buy if I was gonna buy anything is the priming and prepping set. So the one with the powder and the hydrating primer because I've heard really good things about that. Um, but yeah, nothing that overly interests me. The Ombre Vanille Connection is, Collection is gonna be beautiful. Um, I like the little pack that you get the Eau de Parfum in it. Um, but for me, nothing there okay we've got a couple of new holiday sets from rare beauty we've got the mini blush and luminized trio that has for some reason i can't screenshot this there we go um so we the soft pinch blush trio has a mini virtue a mini beloved and a mini luminizer in enliven you've got the serena's eye duo stick and mascara set so one of the eyeshadow sticks in perspective and a mini black mascara and then a fine comfort mini lotion and fragrance set which has a small lotion and the eau de parfum in a travel spray i've not actually smelled um any of the serena um fragrances yet Serena, Selena's fragrances, yeah. Um, but this cute little set, I like the mini blush trio. The shades look really beautiful. Um, cute idea, I think if you've got a lot of blush like me, the mini ones are great. Okay, of course, NARS Holiday has a face palette. This is a 24 karat collection, all in this beautiful gold packaging, I love that. Um, we've got two limited edition colours of the Explicit Lipstick, Rose Brown and Classic Red, Gold Rush Eyeshadow, which seems to be like a, like a single eyeshadow, like very glittery. I'm intrigued to see swatches of that one. Um, all we can see like is a, you know, kind of the, the generated swatches. I've not actually seen it on a person's skin. 
um, gold dust light reflecting setting powder, which is like a marbled champagne, and then two limited edition blushes, sex appeal and impassioned, and then you've got your light reflection, cheek and eye palette, five shades of champagne, bronze and pink. All new shades, which is interesting. Um, so we've got Bombshell, which is a highlighter, Blonde Crazy, which is the bronzer, and then Red Dust, Rough Cut, and Pandora's Box are the blushes. This, I'm normally like a big no on NARS holiday palettes because as much as I love Laguna Bronzer, I don't need it 15 times over. However, the fact that this has got all like new shades could tempt me. I'm probably not going to pick it up because I don't use blush palettes, but um, it's really pretty. I like the look of that one. Um, they are then also re-releasing the Endless Nights Eyeshadow Quad for Fall 24. This was originally last year's holiday release. I know a lot of people really, really love this one. It looks beautiful. It's very smoky. Not my vibe, but I can appreciate that it's a gorgeous palette. Okay, more plumping lip liners are coming. These are from Moira. These are the Lip Appeal Plumping Lip Liners. Now, I really, really love my Too Faced Plumping Lip Liner, but I haven't tried any of the others. Very affordable from Moira at $7.50 each, and these are being released. These already have been released. I'm reading American Dates, and I was like, the 9th of December seems weird to sneak peek it so early. It's the 12th of September. So they are already released. I like the look of those. I still need to try Moira. Um, right, okay. Nude sticks have released what essentially is an advent calendar. This is 10 years of nude beauty. Celebrate a decade of effortless glam with our limited edition 10 year anniversary box. 12 iconic bestsellers. You could definitely use this one as an advent calendar. It's got doors um, and you can open them up. You could definitely use it as like a 12 days countdown to Christmas. I like the look of it. I'm not going to buy it because a lot of the eye stuff from Nude Sticks is very neutral. I love their blushes, um, but their eye stuff is just too neutral for me. I'm not going to use it. Okie dokie. God, there's a lot of sneak peeks, which we do not love. I don't want sneak peeks. I want actual releases. Okay. New Urban Decay Moondust Space Cowboy Glitter Eyeshadow Quad. This is four Moondust shadows. Two peachy ones, two brownie ones. This looks really beautiful. Um, it has got Space Cowboy Rides again in. Um, and then we've got A-list Energy Peach Pink Shimmer with Magenta Glitter. I need them to bring that one out as a single. Luna Lit is a warm brown with silver glitter and Sparkle Hour is pink shimmer with silver glitter. This looks really beautiful. It's a Sephora exclusive. Um, I'm not going to pick it up. Don't love the clear packaging, but it does look beautiful. I will give it that. Okay. We're going to skip past Sephora gift sets because they're always different in different countries. Um... Tatcha Dewy Skin and Lips set. This is the da, 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 the Rice Wash, the Dewy Skin Cream, and the Kisu Lip Mask in Wisteria. This is eighty three dollars. Um, but we have got a full size limited edition shade of the Kisu Mask and the refillable size of the Dewy Skin Cream. So I think if you had your eye on the Dewy Skin Cream, anyway. It might be worth having a look at this. It does also come with like a, a towel wrap, um, which is interesting. Not something for me, but I like it. I don't hate it. I'm just not going to buy it. Okay. This has got me in a chokehold. I commented on um, my lovely friend Grace from Gel Beauty, her new makeup releases. This is the Patrick Tarr. Barbie collection. Uh, new blush duo, new lip oil slash gloss. Now, I have heard... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh... Okay, I don't think I've got it with me. I've heard this is She's a Doll, 
which I have recently picked up. But to me, this looks darker than what I have. So I'm going to keep my eye out for more on this one. Um, if it is limited edition, like if it's a different shade, I'm going to be really, really struggle not to buy this one because the pink packaging is just so cute. Um, I love it. Right, okay. Ugh. Ugh. Charlotte Tilbury are releasing a pillow talk look for the holidays. Of course they are. Uh, mini lip liner, mini lipstick in Pillow Talk Fair. Um, sorry, these are both in Pillow Talk Fair, so not quite the same as always. Um, both mini sizes, as far as I'm aware. I like the Pillow Talk range. I just don't think we need to keep flogging this dead horse. I don't know. What do you think? Right, okay. Morphe. 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 This is a holiday drama collection at 2024. Holiday collection shade throw palette. Holiday collection crowd pleaser palette. Holiday collection party crush palette. Euphoric rush three in one silk in two colours. Uh, compose yourself. What is that? God knows. It doesn't actually say. Uh, a soul matte lip duo, a drip glass lip duo and an overreaction holographic lip. Um, I'm still intrigued by these swirly blushes and I'm still intrigued by these palettes that have like the wet to dry shadows in. I do actually really like the bottom one to the purple one. If Morphe was still in stores, I would probably go and give it a swatch, but it's not anymore. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to skip on this one. Um, not, not the worst collection I've ever seen, but I don't like this big palette. I think it's just completely redundant. I feel like they've been better completely getting rid of that and just having the two six pans, but you know. Let me know what do you think about that one? Do you think that big palette is just a waste of everybody's time? Okie dokie. Um, Okay, Kylie Cosmetics are releasing a smoky palette. Lots of smoky palettes floating around uh, the past sort of 18 months. I like the look of this one, it looks nice. There's some neutrals in there. So if you're not kind of big on full gray smoky palettes like the Natasha Denona Xenon, this might be more for you. This looks really nice. I don't, I haven't really heard a lot about Kylie eyeshadows. Um, so if you've tried them, let me know in the comments um but i like the look of it not buying it i've got plenty of smoky palettes magpie right okay books um this is the dolly's holiday party collection we've got the babe celebration lip gloss and lip liner kit full size full on plumping lip cream full size power line and then three mini plumping lip polishes there's loads of other lip sets as well a mascara set interesting interesting i've still never tried buxom and i've heard so many good things about their lip products that i feel like something like this would be a great way to give them a try but i'm not sure where we can get them in the uk if anybody does know let me know in the comments okay these are pretty cool these are the black moon cosmetics um x marvel agatha the witch's road trinity it's three metallic liquid lipsticks um you've got a purple a deep green and a like navy blue and then they've also got a duo which are cosmic eye dust and an immortal black metal liquid lipstick um these are very cool i like the look of these not a Marvel girly, um, but I think it's a really cool collab. Not too kind of in your face. This is this is Marvel. It's just cool colours in the theme packaging. Um, Prada lip care set. This is the mini moisturising lip balm set. This one is $55 for three minis. Um, there's a moisturising lip balm in the shade U001 Astral Pink. It's a glowy pink pH reactive. And then we've got two monochrome hyper matte lipstick shades in 
quartz, which is pink nude, and mahogany, which is a maroon brown. I think if you've had your eye on these Prada lipsticks, you want to give them a go. I feel like this is a nice way to do it. The shades of the actual lipsticks are very pretty. Um, $55 for three minis seems quite steep, though. But I don't know. What do you think? What do we think? Um, okay, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of skipping past Halloween releases on the whole. Not a lot of them have excited me this year. Um, that being said, this is Bella Beauté's Bar's new Poison Garden. I'm sure they had Poison Garden before and I think this is like a re-release, reformulation, rework. Um, this is, doesn't say how much it is, but this looks beautiful, um, Bella Beauté Bar, very much on my list of brands I want to try. This looks gorgeous. It's not 100% my colour story. I'd rather one of the brighter ones. But I can see a lot of people loving this. It's very dark. Some really beautiful sparkles. Okie dokie. What is next? This one I am probably going to pick up at some point. This is the new one size turn up the base full beat waterproof liquid foundation. You guys know if you are a regular that I am a foundation whoa. Um, I love to try new foundations. I have dry skin so I'm always intrigued to see how these kind of matte waterproof long lasting um, finishes are on me. Looks like a great shade range that is, do, 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 do we say, do we say, do we say, there's about 30, 40 shades, something like that. Um, yeah, I'm intrigued by this one. I would definitely like to try this one. It is available now at Sephora. I do believe there's a sponge that comes with it as well, um, but it's got like amino acids in it. Um, it's got something that, alkaline complex, which is a plant-derived emollient that replaces silicon for a smooth feel um, and rice silk powder to blur the skin. So very intrigued by that one. Hourglass Holiday. These are the Phantom Volumizing Glossy Lip Duo. They always release one of these um, every year. We've got like a brownie nude and then I think that's a shimmery... Yeah, a coral with a pearly like finish. So Trace's Beige, which is in the main line, and then this um exclusive one is Mystic. So coral with a pearly like finish. Duo is about has a value of about it costs $57, a value of about 74. No, that's euros, 57 euros and a value of about 74. I have heard good things about these lip sticks i've never tried them though and i do quite like them but not those colors they're not for me personally um i'd definitely rather have something a bit more fun okay this is a really exciting collab this is makeup just for fun and fancy cosmetica this is enchanted the enchanted autumn collection this is really really pretty you've got five shades of lip balm the palette and then a um candle um, it, this looks really pretty. It's a really fun palette. Looks great for this time of year. Um, I think if you're an autumn person, you are going to love this. I really like the look of it. Not going to pick it up um, because it's not 100% me, but I do really like the look of it. Um, I'm not going to mention Cosmic Brushes Undergrowth because I've spoken about it 15 times. Everybody's seen it. If you haven't, I've got two videos with it up on my channel already. So, yeah, we're not going to talk about that one. Um, Next up. What? And I cannot stress this enough. The fuck is this? Um, Elf X Tinder. Um, so we've got a put your elf out there vault. This is a face primer, a setting mist, a makeup bag, a lip oil, uh, two lip oils, sorry, and a cream glad on lip liner and ready for anything. Uh, a lip trio, which includes two lip oils and the lip liner. It's a match stick lippies available for beauty squad loyalty members. Um, it's five single use lipstick matches. 
Um, this is insane. I hate it. That's all I've got to say. That's all I've got to say. Um, right, okay. Be Perfect and Ekin Sue. The next move. Seven brand new additions. So three new of the cult favourite radiant blushes, which I do really love these. Um, two Dreamy Lip Library duos. Lipstick. Uh, these are from the Lip Library collection. So a lipstick and a lip liner. There's two of those. One in a blue tone red and one in a warm berry tone. I know Be Perfect are very controversial right now. We're not talking about them doing things with him. Um, but this collection, I do like. These blushes are stunning. The original is gorgeous and there's a darker pink, which I really love. Um, I'm not going to be picking it up, but I did want to mention it because that blush is stunning. Right. Okay. Fresh new lip care set. Colour and Care Collection, it's a set of five mini lip balms, including the iconic Sugar Advanced Therapy Treatment Lip Balm and the Tinted Sugar Lip Balm Hydrating Treatments in Rose, Icon, Petal and Honey. I remember Fresh having the beauty community in such like a, a chokehold, maybe like, I want to say 2014, 2015, something like that. Um, This is a cute little set. I still, I still do want to try Fresh, um, but does anybody really need five lip balms at once? And then we do also have a new skincare set from them, Dewy and Hydrated Skincare Trio. This is a Rose and Hyaluronic Acid Deep Hydration Toner, Rose and Squalene Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum and the Deep Hydration Moisturiser. I've heard really good things about this line. My only thing is, does it smell like roses? Because if it smells like roses, no thank you. I do not want to smell like somebody's nan. Um... But yeah, I don't know about that one. Um, I've heard good things about it though. We've then got some skincare sex from Drunk Elephant. Resort to this is a complete AM routine. Um, it apparently is going for every skin type and every skin concern. Um, but we've got a full size protein for polypeptide serum cream i know a lot of people love that a sea firm a fresh day serum the debronzy anti-pollution sunshine drops and then the sea tango um eye cream nice drunk elephant for me is yeah um i don't love anything i've tried I, I haven't hated anything i have heard really good things about the protein and cream um and also the one in this next set this is the coast is clear skincare set this is a night kit and this has got the um Loretro whipped cream I've heard really good things about that I'd be more inclined to try this one I think um we've got the Frombos night serum the Serum ITAF eye balm and the Bestie number nine jelly cleanser in that one um Lancome the beauty box for 2024 don't know whether you're aware but every year Lancome released a giant beauty box with lots of products in it um this is 12 products, Advanced Genifique Anti-Aging Serum in 30ml, uh, two lipsticks, one from the Intimate, Intimate, in, in, ugh, one from the Intimate line and one from the Cream line, um, a 10ml of Vieux Belle, Advanced Genifique Anti-Aging Serum, we got two of those. Yeah, we've got the 30ml and the 10ml. A Regenery HPM 300 Peptide Cream, the Regenery Lift Multi-Action Night Cream, Hypnose Mascara, Advanced Genifique Eye Cream, Bifacial Eye Comfort Remover, Tonique Comfort Face Water, and an Eye and Face Palette, which is a limited edition. Um, according to Lancome, the set has a value of over €430, Euro, because it's currently available in Germany, um, and it's priced at €150, Euro, so incredibly um, good value. I think if you've got a mum, a grandma, an auntie who loves Lancome, this is a really, really gorgeous gift. For me, too much skincare, not enough makeup. <laughs> Um, right, Essie, um, seem to be releasing an advent calendar. Now this again is all in German. What's going on with Germany? They're getting all the good stuff. 
Um, this includes 10 mini nail polishes in a 5mm, full full size in 13.5mm, two special effects nail polishes full size, one express nail polish 10mm, one gel couture full size, one gel couture top coat full size, a mini nail polish remover, mini nail oil and apricot nail and cuticle oil, mini top setter, got gel setter, mini nail hardener and a nail perfecter. Um, looks cool, looks cool. I like that idea. Um, I think I'm not a nail polish person. Obviously, I'm an acrylics person. Um, but if you are a nail polish person, I feel like that's really fun. Okay, this year also L'Oreal are releasing a 24 door advent calendar. It includes the following products. Um, these seem to all be from the actual L'Oreal range. We've got oil shadows, gel automatic liners, Lash Paradise Primer, Perfect Match Blush, um, Volumizing Brown Mascara and Transparent, Dream Likes Conditioner, Bronze to Paradise, Bronzer, Lip Liners, Volume, volume Million, I cannot speak today, um, I Call, Revital Lift Filler Plumping Skirum, Colourish Satin and Cherry Crystal, An Infallible Felt Liner, um, a Bond Rescue Pre Shampoo, a Dream Length Super Rebuilding Shampoo, interesting don't seem to appear to have any prices i love the packaging um not gonna be buying it but it is cute okay these i love the look of these are ravy view ravy beauty which is the makeup brand by ali glines um my lovely friend leslie won a giveaway of theirs to get six of her lips it she actually sent me one and i'm really really liking it um but these are the endless diffusion baked blushes 32 dollars each and then there is also a blush brush for 24 you can buy the entire thing for 98 these blushes look gorgeous i definitely be interested in trying these um just not right now just not right Okay, Charlotte Tilbury, more holiday stuff. Uh, Magic Water Cream Set, Daily Duo that drenches skin with long lasting hydration for a fresh glow. Um, this is the Magic Water Cream Refillable Gel Moisturiser and a mini gel moisturiser. So if you love this moisturiser, that would be great. For me, I prefer the Magic Cream because it's thicker and my skin is drier, but a nice little bundle if you love that moisturiser. Um, First Aid Beauty, Bundle Up and Hydrate, Ultra Repair Clean, Ultra Repair Cream, Face Radiance Pads, the Pure Skin Face Cleanser, and a, what is this? You are a mini, it's like a stick. Don't know what that is, but that's coming. There's a Smooth Skin, um, the one for like razor bumps and stuff. They're bringing that out again for Christmas. A mini Ultra Repair Cream and a KP Bumper Razor Body Scrub. I've heard really good things about that. Apparently it's great if you get strawberry legs. Um, so that's what's coming from First Aid Beauty. Another one from Charlotte Tilbury, the Magic Serum and the Magic Cream. Love both of these products. The set is $44 though. Your Magic Cream is 15ml and your serum is 8ml not worth it for me um you can regularly get this um these little pots on the charlotte tilbury website when you place an order so i'd, I'd keep your eye out for that one rather than buying that okay give me glow are releasing some lip sets i think there's about five um these are the pinky nude mood um five different no six different lip glosses different textures um so we've got some with some shimmer some matte ones very interested in these um i love give me glows products but i'm kind of waiting for them to redo their whole line so i can then make a big order rather than doing loads of little ones because the shipping can be expensive um Okay, I did want to mention these. These are the new made by Mitchell uh, Blush Press Duo Highlighter Palette and Brushes. 
these look really cute i love how versatile these are there's so many shades no matter what you like from a highlighter i like these i do not like the packaging you guys know i do not like made by mitchell's cardboard packaging it's hard to store and also not very user not user friendly i mean it's fine user friendly wise it just it just breaks and gets damaged it's just not hardy enough for me um but they do look really really pretty next up very intrigued by these these are the maybelline superstay teddy tints which are a so super soft texture and hugs hugs the lips like a plush teddy can be blinded for a slight opacity or applied strongly opaque i have heard mixed things about these i'm very intrigued to give them a try i'm definitely going to pick one up when they come to the uk but i haven't heard all great things some of them have been a bit these are not good okay abh this is a spice palette this has zero tone to it um these are basically all the same shade um i yeah no no absolutely not abh used to be so good and i just just lets me down man you do not need to release 17 different nude palettes you have this in your collection already they have this in their range already just no just no no thank you goodbye okay we have got this i also hate this um this is the new nyx the face glue gripping primer and also the face glue setting spray these sound horrific does anybody else think these sound horrific the setting spray literally is described as don't just lock it down glue it down no i don't want my face to be glued to me thank you um 24 hour waterproof setting spray long lasting set spray formula contains film formers to glue down your makeup and maple syrup known for its extreme gripping properties so not only is it going to make my makeup stay on my face forever but it's also going to be sticky that is the vibe i'm getting um the primer is the same again it's got the maple syrup i hate it when brands use the phrase known for being grippy af why are you using af you're not cool that's not cool sorry <laughs> I feel like I'm on one today. Um, so yeah, that's a no. New about face blushes. Light look of these. This is a blush flush pigmented fluid blush. The bright pink looks beautiful. Right up my alley. These are $18. When these come to Selfridges, I'm going to go and have a little swatch for them. Right, okay. We have talked about this one before four i think but we now have a release date this is the space cowboy glitter eyeshadow palette from urban decay this is different to the other one it's now available it's going to be in stores october 13th and it's 49 dollars. this has it does have space cowboy in it sorry it has space cowboy rods again in it it's got a-list energy no sleep club and endless party vip only space boy space cowboy rides again and vibing so two mats one mat with magenta glitter and then three of the very beautiful moon dust shimmer shades um it looks pretty i love the star packaging not gonna buy it okie dokie what else have we got for christmas um tower 28 little softies tinted lip treatment set four shades one of them is a limited edition shade called sugar plum oh no sorry it's a, yeah a limited edition new shade called sugar plum you've then also got watermelon kiwi dolce de leche and ube vanilla um i will not buy this because watermelon kiwi Ooh, do not like watermelon big no from me okay i'm really excited about this one and then i realized i got one of these blushes um the shade i bought is one of the shades in here oh no maybe oh 
No, it isn't. I thought I'd bought butterflies, but it turns out I bought hype. I must have saved butterflies. Okay, I might get this one then. This is the Kosas Blush is Life Trio. Three of the mini Blush is Life blushes. This is what mine looks like. These are stunning. Love the idea of them in cute little minis. This is da, 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 $30. Absolute bargain. This comes to Cult Beauty. I am going to get this one, I think. Right, Lawless for the holidays are releasing a Merry Minis Lip Plumper Trio, Best Selling Shade Rosy Outlook, and two new limited edition holiday shades, Melrose and Bitten. So you've got Sheer Baby Pink, a Golden Pink with a Pearlized Finish, and a Rosy Mauve. These look really pretty. I am very intrigued by Lawless. Um, the only reason I wouldn't pick this up is because I don't like getting limited edition lip products because yeah, I get very attached to them um, and then I'm sad uh, especially with the mean minis so I'm going to skip on that but I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for the other stuff Lawless releases the first of the Tarte releases obviously there's 5,000 this is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm Best Sellers Duo um there's two of these one has got the juicy lip plumps in rose and passion fruit and one has got the juicy lip plumps in rosy copper shimmer glass and dahlia rosy copper shimmer glass that's catchy oh no it's just called rosy copper sorry so you've got a shimmery one and a matte one these look nice passion fruit is too dark um i like these lip products but they slide everywhere so passion fruit would be everywhere so that's a no not really into a shimmery lip um although i did buy one of the nyx bling glosses the other day because i was so intrigued um but cute little sets if you like those shades we have then got the nyx christmas release this is doesn't have a name okay so we've got the Holiday Butter Gloss Swirl, they're $6 each. Swirl Buttermilk Face Palettes, $18 each. Very intrigued by those um, because I love the buttermilk blushes. We have a Jumble Eye Pencil Duo with Frosting and Cottage Cheese, a Duck Plump Duo, a Slick Click Trio, a Butter Gloss Vault, a Fan Fave Gloss Set, a Fat Click Stick Duo. Um, so lots of, lots of releases there. Um, doesn't say whether any of these are limited edition shades. Pretty sure the holiday butter glosses are, obviously. But I think everything else is all in shades that you can get any time. Okay, I really like the look of this release. Um, it's, it's a bit of a boring one, but it's the Pharmacy You're the Balm Cleansing Kit. This has got four mini green clean cleansing balms in four different scents. Um, I love a cleansing balm. It's one of those kind of boring things you have to buy. So the fact they're in fun scents makes me really happy. Um, yeah, so I, to be honest, I might pick that up because I'm due some new cleansing balm and I've heard really good things about the green clean balm. Okay, for the holiday, we've got a new Blush and Glow HD palette from Makeup Forever. Um, six blushes, six highlighters, $88. It's very expensive. Um, yeah. I, do, uh, I like Makeup Forever a lot, but I think that very much is targeted towards a makeup artist. Right, Sol de Janeiro, we've got a thousand collections. This one is with the original Brazilian Bum Bum Cream scent. Uh, so you've got the body wash, the mist, the body scrub, a body firm oil and the Bum Bum Cream. Nice, like that scent. Don't, don't I'm not like overly obsessed with it. Um, we have got a glow library from Glow Recipe. For me, if I had to pick between Junk Elephant and Glow Recipe, I'd go for Glow Recipe every single time. This has got the Avocado Ceramide Moisture Barrier Cleanser full size, Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner full size. Love that product. Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner full size, Guava Vitamin C Eye Cream full size, Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum full size, Strawberry Smooth BHA and AHA Salicylic Acid Serum full size, Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dewdrops, love, 
full size and the plum pump hyaluronic cream again full size that is only two hundred dollars um i already know i love like six of those products so depending on how much it is in pounds i might treat myself post christmas um, and then also from Glow Recipe, you've got lots of different skincare sets, watermelon glow icons with the toner, the niacinamide dew drops and the juice oil free moisturiser. Um, we've got double the glow with the juice oil free moisturiser and the refill and a mini of the toner serums you've got the one with the strawberry smooth, the watermelon glow, the plum plum, the cloud berry and the plum plum serum cream watermelon glow nice in my dew nice in my q drops and the ultra fine mist in the dewy skin dazzlers double the plump you've got the cream so the plump plump cream and a refill and a sample of the serum which i love that one that's 52 and the get glow in with me which contains the toner the watermelon glow toner plump plump cream and the watermelon glow hue drops i think there's some really really great packs there if you love the plum plum cream that kit is amazing again another one that i might be tempted by because i really do love that moisturizer um and it's not as expensive as magic cream from charlotte tilbury so i'm counting that as a win right ensley rain this is underland i just keep wanting to say wonderland it's underland um this is beautiful um it's very dark and autumnal again i'm not gonna buy it but i love it um seven blendable mattes eight high impact shimmers haven't got a price on this one um but lots of like slate grays and charcoals it is really beautiful oh galang 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 this is how you do a holiday release nothing too over the top but the packaging just takes the freaking biscuit. Oh my god! This is the Holiday 2024 collection designed by Parisian jewelry designer Sharuk. Limited edition gem cases inlaid with unique and beautiful bold rhinestones. Two limited edition colours of the Rouge G lipstick. A limited edition quad, which is a really pretty like pinky quad. Um, we've got, of course, the meteorites and the terracotta bronzer. Um obsessed obsessed with this collection i think it's great okay what else have we got right here's the rest of the tart releases no it's not the rest it's some more of the tart releases okay amazonian clay cheek set 45 golden era amazonian clay collector set 55 these are both cheek sets so we've got two cheek sets sorry and then the golden era is the eye set Maracuja Juice Lip Sets 45, that's four different formulas of the Maracuja Juicy Lips. Top Hits Mascara and Liner Quad, so two mascaras, two liners. The award winners, Best Sellers 32, I think that's the Tubes. Um, Manita Must Haves Mascara and Blush Trio, so two Manita Blushes and the Mascara. Tinsel Time Blush Tape and Glow Sets, Maracuja Juicy Lip Icons Plump and Liner Duo, 24k eye essentials and curler big screen must-haves award winners best set I, I i genuinely don't know what's what to be honest i'm not even gonna lie i'm so freaking confused um too much too much no thank you also from tart i do actually quite like the look of these these are the glow squad amazonian clay face palettes two shades of these not the most inclusive but I could wear both of those palettes and I am translucent um but I do like the look of them I'm not going to be buying them but I think they're nice another one from Tarte this is what are we calling this the Maracuja Juicy Lip Collector's set 10 iconic formulas and is the perfect gift for the juicy lip lover in your life um, so two Maracuja Juicy Lip Liners and eight Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps. You've got the, the more sheer ones, the oil ones, the vinyl ones. Yeah, there's a whole lot going on in that one. It's $99, which I thought was pretty good, actually. 
considering that you're paying like ten dollars a product i don't think that was bad okay probably one of the very few tart releases i'm not horrified by this is the glamorous gifts travel set this palette is actually really cute um it's a little pink palette it looks like it's got some really pretty shimmers in it not something i'd use but i think it's really pretty and it's the first time they've ever released a holiday palette and i've not gone what the hell is that you know what i mean there's also a brush set but we're skipping past that i'm sick of you so goodbye um right okay more sol de janeiro lots of sets fragrance sets what always annoys me about these sets is they never do a collection with just the purple scent and i friggin love the purple scent um but there's loads of stuff there uh full shower routine um body spray sets mini spray and body butter sets great Ula Henriksen, we have the Party Pop Lip Duo Kit with two of the Pout Peptide lip treatments. Pre-Party Glow Vitamin C Trio, so with the Banana Bright Serum, Banana Bright Glow Moisturiser and the Banana Bright Eye Cream. And then the After Party Peptide Skin Strengthening Set, Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturiser and the Hydra Barrier Nourishing Face Oil. I really like the sound of the after party peptide set that sounds like something that's right up my alley um oh my gosh more sol de janeiro giant bloody bum bum cream don't know how you'd ever use that much or am i just really shit at remembering to moisturize my body more sets more scents um a giant set which is 232 um yeah a pair set which is 25 um, lots of lots and lots and lots and lots of saltation arrow. Okie dokie, another couple of bits from NARS. These are the Afterglow Lip Shine Lip Gloss Set and the Afterglow Liquid Blush Duo. I quite like the look of the blushes. Lip set's not for me. Um, I've been wanting to try the brushes for a while, so I quite like the look of those um but i will probably pick my own shade uh not a holiday release but i had to mention this one this is the new odin's eye luminous and shadow eternal twilight palette i literally really had to stop myself hard with this one i wanted the whole collection three luminous highlighters two matte blushes and a shimmery blush um it's a gorgeous collection i really had to stop myself Okay, Angry Leprechaun from Clarity. This is super fun. I love the look of this palette. Love pinks and greens together. You will know that about me by now if you're a regular. Um, so I really like the look of that one. Again, not gonna buy it, but I do love Clarity's formula. It is incredible. Right, do, 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 do. Let's get on to the rest of the holiday sets um clinique black honey lip duo mini black honey lipstick and a cheek palette which is really cute i hope they bring out pink honey pop and the black honey blushes separately because i would like those a lot but i do not want the whole kit if that makes sense um but those two blushes do look really pretty and i do love the cheek pop formula not a Christmas one, but still a big collection release. This is the REM and Wicked collection. Don't like this palette, too much wasted space. Do like the look of some of the bits and bobs. You've got a couple of sets which have one of the stick blushes, a lipstick, a liner and a liquid shadow. They look really cool. I really love the look of the Elphaba one. Um, yeah some lipstick sets a topper under eye patches um a lip stain glinda glow drops i would say that the, the thing i like the least out of this is actually the palette i think there's a lot of wasted space um and apart from those three greens which are beautiful it's just a bit meh okay oh god it's almost time it's almost time McGrath holiday. 
no, 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 done. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Um, new milk jelly tint cheek sticks. They're bringing out two more shades. I don't like these on the cheeks. I don't mind them on the lips won't be buying any more shades but I wanted to mention them because the shades are cute if you do enjoy them I think you'll like these um but for me these are definitely a lip product not a cheek product um okay last couple of holiday releases this is another one of the ones that's actually really drawn me in it's the most boring set ever but if you are a regular, you'll know I am obsessed. I'm actually wearing one today with the Makeup Forever Artist Mini pencils. Um, and they are bringing out a eyeliner and lip liner kit. This is one of my favourite shades called Versatile Chestnut. Um, but this has got Anywhere Caffeine, Whatever Walnut, Limitless Brown, Whatever Black and All Round White. If it didn't have the black and the white and it had two more lip liner shades, I think I'd have bought it. Um, but I'm going to skip. I'm going to be good. Summer Fridays teeny tiny lip balms. They're so cute. Um, they we have got vanilla, vanilla beige, iced coffee, and brown sugar, all in tiny weeny mini little tubes. I love this lip balm. It's beautiful. Um, I like the look of that set. Um, kissing jelly perfect pair Too Faced lip oil gloss. I like the look of both of these shades actually, and I have been wanting to try this. This could potentially be a Too Faced Christmas set purchase for me, which I've never made before because I normally hate everything they bring out. <laughs> what can I say? Um, Summer Friday's new three cent full size balm um, collection. This has got cherry, pink sugar and sweet mint. Um, three absolute classics. I'm not gonna buy this because I've got a full size. I've also got a um, Ulla Henriksen peptide one on the go, so I don't need those, but it's a cute set. Um, a absolutely enormous Dr. Jarp mask mega mix kit. I love Dr. Jarp masks because they make me feel like a scientist. <laughs> Like, especially the cryo rubber ones. This is a really cool set. Um, It is expensive. It's $70. But I think the cryo rubber masks are like £12 on their own. $12. Um, So, well worth doing it if you are into Dr. Jart masks. We have got the Hourglass collection. Um, Sorry, that was my stomach. It literally sounds like somebody's trying to crawl out of me. Um, three palettes, brush set, a mascara liner set. Oh, and a scattered light eyeshadow. Um, the there's one kit with like a face bag and a brush and a lipstick and a scattered light and a mascara and a, a nice bag, and then a lip set with a liner, one of the glossy balms and a lipstick in it. All look nice. You know my feelings on Hourglass um, Christmas palettes. I just don't think they're worth it. I don't think we ever use them after Christmas. I think I've had one sat on my shelf for like three years and it's just dusty and gross. And yeah, I just don't think they're worth it. Um, but, you know, each their own. You might love your hours, girl. Hourglass palette. A um, couple of bits from Milk. The Hydro Grip Primer pre-game pack. This has two mini primers. We've got the normal Hydro Grip and the Hydro Grip Plus Glow. Um, I haven't tried Hydro Grip and I feel like I probably should. So maybe that'll be one. Um, the Clush Best Buds Lip Duo. Lip Duo. This has got Green Dragon Clear with Sage and Peppermint flavour and Dream Machine Moave with Guava flavour. I really like these lip oils. I think they are really lovely. Do you need more than one? Possibly not. Um, depends whether you're buying them for the flavour or to have them be a different shade. If you're buying them to be a different shade, they are not. They are all the same. Uh, but I do like them. They're very lovely. Right. What else have we got? Oh, this is beautiful. I really want one of these. And I know I won't use it enough to justify the price, but they're so beautiful. These are the Starlight Glow CC Highlighters from By Terry. This packaging is stunning, that pink shade. Oh, it's got me. It's got me right in the feels. Um, these are beautiful. Like I said, 
I'm not buying them for the 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 money, which is crazy. Uh, but we're pretty sure these are part of their holiday collection. Okie dokie. This is the Lawless full holiday collection reveal. So we've got the lip set we talked about earlier. We've got a Dreamy Dozen Volume 2 Talc Free Eyeshadow Palette 12 Shades and the Cinnamon Sugar Lip Duo Set Forget the Filler Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss in Buns and the Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask in Cinnamon Sugar. I possibly will try... If that comes to Sephora UK with the little mask and the gloss, I might give that one a go. Because like I said, I do want to try Lawless. It's just nothing's kind of come up that I've wanted yet. Okay, Westman Atelier. Beautiful lipsticks. Uh, these are the Lip Suede Matte Lipstick Trio for 2024. Um, it's got Jerev, a blushy nude. Fluffy a nude rose and dash a ruby red. 150, which I didn't think was bad for three Westman Atelier lipsticks. I love the pink, the green, and the white packaging. I think it's stunning. Not gonna buy it, but very pretty. Okie do dokie, Charlotte Tilbury, what are you playing at? This is the full collection from Charlotte Tilbury. The main focus is the limited edition Beauty First Love palette. I'm not into it. Um, hypnotizing pop shots are coming back. I do have the lilac one, which is called Pillow Talk Ultraviolet. It's not my favorite thing in the world. I don't hate it. It's just not sparkly as I thought it was gonna be. Um, so they are probably nice if you are not a heavy sparkle person like me, but if you are into your heavy sparkle, they're not what they look like in the press images. Um, why yes, I'll Rouge Paul. Pour Rouge Pour Couture Slim Collector uh, Limited Edition Long Wear Matte Lipstick and a Mini Clutch. Beautiful packaging. Not interested in the shades. They're boring. They're basic. No, thank you. Okay. Da -na -na -na. What else we got? Artitude are bringing out new lip oil flavours, which is very nice. We have Mango and Aloe, Apple and Cherry and Mint. They sound lovely. They're coming um, 28th of September. I was going to say as you're watching this, but no, as I'm filming this, they're coming. Um, sound very cool. I love the Attitude Lip Oils. They're lovely. Um, okay, where are we at? Where are we at? I think we are basically done with... Oh, no, we've got to do Fenty. Of course we've got to do Fenty. Right, let's have a look. Let's find a picture where everything is together so I don't have to put a thousand pictures in at once. It's not going to be one of the colours. Is that one? Mm, that's most of the stuff. Right, okay. <laughs> um, Fenty's releasing the Holiday Hustle Collection. Little Butter Drops Mini Shimmering Whipped Oil Body Cream Trio. So three body butters, 59. Glossy Posse, seven full size. Gloss Bomb, no. Glossy Posse Volume, 7.0. Full size Gloss Bomb Trio, 40. Fenty Eau de Parfum Plus Travel Spray Kit. Maintenance Crew Universal Starter Kit. Shimmering Spice Warm Cinnamon Shimmering Lip and Body Duo. Curl Crew Instant Damage Repair Treatment and Curl Defining Set. Protection Posse Instant Damage Repair Treatment and Heat Protectant. Gloss Bomb Full Bolt Vault with 10 pieces, 150. Plush Pudding Intense Recovery Mask and Salted Caramel. That sounds delicious. Fenty's Most Wanted 3-Piece Lip Face and Eye, 35. 3-Piece Lip Set, 50. Eau de Parfum Travel Spray Gift Set, 42. Full Eau de Parfum in 75ml and a Scented Ceramic Gift Set, 140. Fruit quenches hydrating and strengthening the lip oil trio for 52. Street Fan 5 piece mini set for 60. And a body, uh, the Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream and Toasted Marshmallow. That is a lot. Um, So we've got hair, we've got body, we've got face. Th that's a lot. There's like a swirly gloss, which looks really pretty. The lip set has got a gloss, one of the new gloss sticks. And one of the matte liquid lipsticks. Nice. I would quite also like to smell the perfume. Because I have not smelled that. So yeah. That's that. Estee Lauder. I don't know whether this is everything. Or they've just not released a lot of it yet. Um, so we've got Nice Seduction. Sumptuous Extreme Mascara Set. Magic Whisper Holiday Lip Gloss Set. 
Illusionist Glow Set Holiday Makeup Gift Set, 24 hour double wear foundation kit, which has like the serum and a brush and a primer, which I really like. And there's one with a serum, a brush, uh, a, a sponge, sorry, and a primer for the Futurist Hydro Rescue Foundation. I think that's a fun idea. Um, but yeah, I, hmm, not sure what's going on there. It doesn't seem a lot from Estee Lauder when normally they're, they've got so many new releases. Um, Makeup Forever's limited edition holiday release. I can't tell whether this is orange or red. I don't know. We've got multiple sets, um, HD press powders and HD loose powders in limited edition packaging. Um, obviously the palette we mentioned before and the lip liner set, setting spray in a limited edition packaging. Interesting. Okay. Other than a couple of Ilya bits, I think we're almost done. Um, so from Ilya, you've got a Lip Sketch Trio Super Serum Skin Tint and Essential Set with Limitless Lash Mascara, Liquid Powder Chromatic Eye Tint and a full shade Lip Sketch as well as a, la lip a large sharpener. Oh my God. Uh, Beauty of Balm Lip Set, one full size balm and three minis. And then the Lip Sketch Trio, which is three of the hydrating crayons. Um... Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not done. Um, I forgot to say. Two holiday sets from, say, Glossy Bounce Duo. Love, 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 love these lip gloss oils. There's a uh, Shades Kiss and Crush. So one red, one nude. And then they are also releasing, which I very much would like to purchase, the um, Mini G Blush holiday set. Uh, so they've got Baby Cool Tone Pink, Chili Cool Tone Move, and Flirty Limited Edition Bright Watermelon, which I need in my life. So looks like I'm buying that, and the Kosas, and maybe the Lololos. And other than that, I think that's everything. Um, if you made it to the end of this, you're a better woman than I am. Or a man. Or a them. You're a better person than I am. Um, please pray for Sam while he edits this because it's a long one. I do hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please don't get, forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, hit subscribe. I'm uploading every single day in October. Um, and don't forget to hit the bell icon if you'd like notifying when I post. You've been fabulous. I've been called the ball and I'll see you next time. Bye.